today on 15 on 15. The Aruba Hospital gets a five-star renovation. Plus, you will never guess how this supercar is made. And yet another young athlete is aiming for the Olympic Games. Welcome to another edition of 15 on 15 here on Channel 15 ATV with me as your host, Daniela Piazzi. Let's start off the show with the latest local news updates. First off, big changes are planning to be made in St. Nicholas to make the region the culture and art center of the island. In a recent meeting with the Minister of Culture, Otmar Oduber, and PMEC, which is a project management company, the plans were made to bring changes to the main street of St. Nicholas. The goal is to enhance the infrastructure to attract both new investors and tourists. They hope to make the region the culture and art capital of the island. New museums will be established, there will be art in public spaces, and some pieces to commemorate the rich history the refinery brought to St. Nicholas. In total, this project to make St. Nicholas the cultural capital will cost 8 million florins, and it is expected to start within the next two months. St. Nicholas could soon be the happening place for food, heritage, art, and culture. In other news, the concrete has been poured for the new floor of the Dr. Horacio Duber Hospital in Aruba. The renovation and amplification of the Dr. Horacio Duber Hospital is in full swing. The first step of the constructions are currently taking place and the concrete for the new warehouse has been poured. They have already added an additional 17 rooms to the ER and have upgraded the facilities. The Prime Minister Mike Amon states that the hospital will practically be a completely new building. Instead of having four to six patients in a room, each room will have a maximum of two beds. This guarantees the patient's privacy and tranquility while in recovery. Minister Amon states that he would like to not only have five-star hotels and activities for the visitors on the island, but the locals should also have top quality facilities. A new horse located in the town area has been added to the Pardumbay collection. Meet Celestina. After meeting the two horses Ambrosio and Rosalinda from the Art and Public Spaces project Pardumbay, the artist Osana Muyale adds the latest addition to the collection, which is Celestina. If you are driving down LG Smith Boulevard, you can see Celestina eating from the grass. This project brings back a piece of history and time where there was an abundance of grass from livestock, especially in the Nord District, where families depended primarily on farming. Celestina is the third of eight steeds that we'll be meeting in the next few weeks. Don't you think Celestina seems a little bit lonely? Well, she'll be receiving a friend to stand by her very soon. Be sure to stay tuned because we will have all the updates on the developments of the project. Right before we go to break, on a more serious note, a recent video of a theft at a swimwear store on the island has been going viral on the web. Check it out! The swimwear store Ava Boutique located in the hotel area was recently broken into by two masked men. They break the glass with what seems to be bricks and quickly rush in and go for specific items on the rack. The thieves were able to get away with several items of clothing and accessories. The surveillance video has been circling the web and has raised concerns as to how they were able to get in and out in a matter of seconds. Stay with us, we'll be right back with more 15 on 50. When we come back, this car is faster than a Ferrari, yet it is only 120 pounds. Welcome back from the break. On the show, we have shown you many ways a 3D printer has inspired entrepreneurs to create all sorts of things with technology. This might top them all. This next startup company has just created an eco-friendly car, which was created using a 3D printer. A very bold San Francisco startup has just created the fastest accelerating car in the world, which tops the speed of the Porsche 918 Spider. What makes this car so special is that it was manufactured using technology of 3D printing. This 3D supercar named the Blade used a 3D printer for aluminum joints, all the interior pieces, and exterior grills. The company claims to be able to reduce the environmental impact of car manufacturing since it takes less raw materials to produce and it pollutes less. Although this is just a tester, they hope to make the technology cheaper in the future to commercialize the vehicle. On another note, e-cigarettes and hookahs have become more frequent amongst our youth. 
Researchers fear this habit leads to teens smoking tobacco at an early stage in life. Just as e-cigarettes have become more popular than tobacco amongst high school students, a new study confirms long-standing fears that vaping leads teens to try tobacco early on. Over the last decade, the e-cigarette industry has grown substantially all over the world. Stores are popping up across the globe which are selling plastic and metal pens that can vaporize thousands of flavors of nicotine-laced liquids. Although the decrease in tobacco use and increase in vaping may sound good news, since e-cigarettes don't expose the lungs to tobacco, public health researchers worry that kids will become addicted to nicotine and then later turn to smoking, which kills over 6 million people every year. So think it over next time you or your child go to a local hookah bar. On another note, have you ever wondered why you might be so bad at math? Were you just born with it or was it your second grade teacher's fault? Well, new research shows that it's your parents are to blame for your bad math skills. Instead of blaming your child for being bad at math, you may have to be blaming yourself. New studies show that a parent's attitude towards math can heavily influence a child's grade. Parents who actively help their children with homework but are math anxious are less likely to learn much over the course of the year and would most probably develop the same anxiety for math. If these parents were to not help them or to hire a tutor, they would be much better off. It doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the genes, but mostly the tense environments that parents create during homework sessions. Although parents are just trying to help when their children are having troubles at school, it may be best to leave homework help to a professional. Turning the page, you may have a new reason to use Facebook Messenger. The company is experimenting with a new personal assistant feature that can complete all sorts of tasks for you. The Facebook Assistant, which is nicknamed M, can make purchases, book travels, and schedule appointments from within Messenger. Unlike other similar services on the market such as Apple Siri, M is able to book restaurants, deliver gifts to your loved ones, and understand conversational requests. Technology is advancing so fast, what will they think of next? We'll be right back after a word from one of our sponsors. After the break, meet the athlete pushing to qualify for the Olympic Games. Welcome back from the break. In preparation for the 2016 Olympic Games, a recent article in Swimming World magazine has put the spotlight on a local athlete striving to qualify. Jordi Carothers, which is entering his sophomore year at the University of Missouri, has been swimming with Yoruba's national team from the age of 11. In his freshman year, he moved to Florida to dedicate himself to swimming. Since Jordi is training hard to represent Aruba at the Olympic Games next year in Rio, he has received some negative comments from his fellow swimmers. Since only two athletes can represent their country at the Games, his chances of going to the Olympics are much higher than others living in much bigger regions. All that aside, Jordi has been performing very well at the swim meets in the United States, and he has won races and continues to push to prove the outsiders wrong. With his eyes on the prize and aiming to qualify for next year's games in Rio, Hroters believes that his experience at these meets are making him faster, better and stronger to represent his island abroad. The best of luck to Jordi Hroters on his journey to qualify for the Olympic Games. We will be sure to keep you updated on all of the progress of our Olympic athletes on the island. Thank you so much for watching. These were your local news updates and trending lifestyle topics. Be sure to tune back in tomorrow night at 7.15 p.m. on Channel 15 ATV. See you then.